microbes are widely used in industry to produce various types of products. Okay, let us study what are the microbes used in industry to produce a particular products. But before that, you should know one thing here. So we are going to produce the product in an industrial scale. Therefore, so to grow the microbes in industrial scale, it requires a very large vessels. Very, very big vessels are required in this. It is not a small vessels. Very, very big vessels are required. Those vessels used to grow the microbes in industry, that vessels are called fermenters. This is the first thing you should know. What is that called it as? Fermenters. Now you see. See, production of products on an industrial scale requires growing microbes in large vessels. This is very, very large vessels. And those large vessels are called fermenters. Why they are called fermenters? Because in which fermentation takes place. Right? So, they are also called as bioreactors. These vessels, these fermenters or these bioreactors, they have all the suitable facilities to grow the microbes. Microbes are the growth of the kit. All facilities are the bioreactors. So, in this study, those tanks are the ones that 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 are the ones. Fermenters. Right? Dear student, what is what are fermenters? So answer is production of products on an industrial scale require growing microbes in a large vessels. They are called as fermenters. Okay. Now in industry Microbes are used to produce fermented beverages, right? And microbes are used to produce antibiotics, right? Also, microbes are widely used to produce some chemicals, chemicals, some enzymes, and some other bioactive molecules. So to produce all these microbes are used in industry. Without microbes, we cannot imagine these industries. The production of these industry, right? We cannot uh, imagine without the microbes. But today we are going to discuss the first one that is the fermented beverages. Right? First one we discuss today about fermented beverages. Now you see, dear student, beverages means what? It is nothing but drinks. Right? Beverages means drinks. Beverages means drinks. We discuss particularly here alcoholic beverages. Right? These alcoholic beverages are produced by the process called fermentation. Therefore, these beverages are called fermented beverages. Okay? Now, the most important thing is that which are the microbes used in production of alcoholic beverages? Microbes are, once again say, they use the microbes which are using in the bread preparation. 
ब्रेड प्रिपरेशन में ना हो तो माइक्रोब्स यूज करने की भी डेट माइक्रोब्स इज कॉल्ड एस सेकरोमाइसिस सेरेबेसी डू यू रिमेम्बर डेट सेकरोमाइसिस सेरेबेसी डेट इज टू बी यूज्ड हियर टू प्रोड्यूस द अल्कोहोलिक बेवरेजेस राइट सेकरोमाइसिस सेरेबेसी दिस सेकरोमाइसिस सेरेबेसी यूज्ड इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अल्कोहोलिक बेवरेजेस Hence, it is called as Brewer's yeast. Okay. If in exam they ask to mention the baker's yeast, you have to write the same. If they ask in exam mention the Brewer's yeast, then also answer is the same. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. These Saccharomyces cerevisiae illa leitre alcoholic industry galanda maru dakke sathi ne illa. alcohol production or the case of the vagudilla so this microbes are used by the remember saccharomyces cerevisiae are used in the production of alcoholic beverages right this is very important for your hormones now so before going to different types of alcoholic beverages we should know What is actually meaning of fermentation? Fermentation of the year already you have studied in the first year. Fermentation of the it is a an aerobic respiration that is takes place in the yeast. We we consider here the yeast. Yeast na di fermentation na di the that is nothing but an aerobic respiration. Fermentation is an aerobic respiration that is takes place. without oxygen see what happens what really happens during fermentation so one molecule of the glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate okay then these two molecules of pyruvate are converted into two molecules of ethanol so here ethanol is produced along with the two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of adp is released here so this ethanol is nothing but it is a alcohol so during the fermentation in the yeast alcohol is released hence we use this yeast in the production of alcoholic beverages remember this student actually e is the alcohol production maadbe anta e prakriya na maadbe fermentation takes place in the yeast that is not only to produce alcohol actually fermentation takes place in the yeast that to get the atp to get the energy yeast ge baduku dakke energy ve a energy anna padidakkoskara to get the energy this yeast do this process yeast do this process but the, during this process there is the production of ethanol now now human being started to use this yeast in commercial way yeast are used for what now you want to do ethanol in the production part of the yogya martare actually yeast ee prakriya na maadudu adakke energy goskara But we are using this now in the commercial way. Now let us see how the alcoholic beverages are produced. First, the raw materials used in the alcoholic beverages, that is the fruit juices and malted cereals. Right? These are the raw materials used here. Fruit juices and alcoholic uh, fruit juices and malted cereals. Malted cereals means if you just remember it is the germinated cereals. Germinated malted cereals means what? Germinated cereals are used. So fermenters in the big tank in the industry. Adhi, after that, these raw materials are the raw materials. After that, a tank is the saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast in the tank. raw material then yeast yeasts are added which yeasts are added that is saccharomyces cerevisiae 
Now this is the economized service A. Service A ferment the carbohydrate presenting fruit juices or in multi series. He raw material in the carbohydrate and the fermentation mode. Why? To get the energy to this yeast. But during this time, you know that if there is the production of what? Ethyl alcohol is produced, ethanol is produced. Right? Ethyl alcohol or ethanol is produced here. Yes. Along with the carbon dioxide. After 10 to 15 days of fermentation, in the tank, if you go and see what are produced, if the fruit juices are used, then wine is produced. Right? Tank and the wine production. Right? If the malted cereals, especially the barley, barley and all the cereals that are used, then we get what? Beans. So, wine and beer are produced in the fermenters by the process of fermentation by this yeast. But this wine and beer only alcohol content is very less. For example, if you take the wine, in this the alcohol content will be 10 to 20 percent. If you take the beer, in this alcohol content may be 4 to 8 percent still. Now people want more alcohol content. That's why what they are going to do is they are going to do and one more process that is called distillation. Right? First they do fermentation, next though they go for one more process so that is what is called distillation to increase the percentage of the alcohol. Distillation of the yellow. Distillation of the yellow. What tea is we can get So, distillation means I can say in simple, it is the purification of the liquid by heating and cooling. Right? Liquid and heat product, then cool product. That process you have studied, that is called distillation. So, after the distillation, the uh, what is that? Alcoholic content increases. Now, we get what is that called? The product is called brandy, whiskey, and rum. The concentrated ice. So, brandy, whiskey, and rum. In this, the alcohol content is more than 40 percent. Right? More than percent Therefore, this brandy, whiskey and rum, these are produced by distillation process. Wine and beer are undistilled alcohols, undistilled alcohols because they are produced directly by fermentation process. Right? Therefore, if you go and if you go and see in wine industry and the beer industry, you can see what fermenters are there. Only fermenters are there. Are there new brandy industry, whiskey industry, and rum industry? They have both. They have fermenters along with they have distilleries. Distilleries, right? You might have heard about the distilleries and the word Kedipodu. That's distilleries used for distillation process. So, these three are produced by distillation process. So, once you understood this, now we can very easily understand this. Right? Therefore, you see, different types of drinks obtained based on so, very, very types of drinks are the prepared one to based on two things. One is based on raw materials used for fermentations. Which raw materials are used for fermentation based on that we get the different products. Second one is that based on type of processing. Based on type of processing. That means whether it is obtained with distillation or without the distillation. That is what is called processing. So, two things we 
should consider here is different types of drinks are obtained based on raw materials used for fermentation and type of processing. Let's understand this in this. For example, if you take beer, the raw materials used to beer is what is that called barley? Barley is used. So if we use the barley, we get beer. Wine, which is the raw material is used, is fruit to juices used, especially the grape juices are used. If the fruit juice is used, we get what is that wine? Right? This is a raw material. If you take the brandy, in the brandy also fruit juices are used. Many times brandy is prepared by distillation of distillation of wine. Because here also fruit juices are used. Then whiskey tomato. Whiskey and use for the raw material is cereals. The wanted cereals, different types of the cereals are used to obtain different varieties of whiskey. And then one more thing is that very famous rum. Rum is prepared mainly from molasses. Have you heard about molasses? Molasses something over there, sugar cane industry can you go there, only irute molasses something. We call it as muddy. Right? A sugar cane industry is muddy irute la, adana molasses the krita hai. A molasses adana tapu kundu ramman na prata kala. See here, based on the raw materials used for fermentation, different types of the drinks are obtained. Similarly, based on the processing, based on the processing, we get the different types of uh, drinks. For example, beer and wines are prepared without distillation. Without distillation, only fermentation is. But brandy, whiskey, and rum are prepared with the distillation. Idu example, kya they ask for two months. They ask for two months. How they ask? Mention the alcoholic beverages without distillation. That is beer and wine. Only two. Mention the example for alcoholic beverages with the distillation. That is brandy, whiskey and rum. Dear student, in the NCRT book, only these five examples are there. Please concentrate only those five examples. No need to remember other examples. Now, for your information, for your information, as I told just now, the beer contain 4 to 8 percent alcohol, wine contains 10 to 20 percent alcohol. That may vary in different different brands. Brandy contain 40 to 50 percent, and uh, whiskey contain 40 to 55 percent, and uh, rum contain 40 to 55 percent of alcohol. But one thing you remember in simplified way. So in undistilled alcoholic beverages, alcohol content is below 20 percent. In distilled alcoholic beverages, alcohol content is more than 40%. Right? So, this is about the fermented beverages. As much as possible, simplified way, we try to discuss about this fermented beverages. Right? In the next video, I would like to discuss about antibiotics. Then keep smiling. Thank you for your time.